Hello, and here we are at the Centre for Computing History again. I'm Adrian, and I'm here with Jason. I'm sat in front of a Nintendo Entertainment System playing Mario and a turntable. Mm -hmm. Why? Right, so you know we did that event not so long back, Synthesized. Yeah, so we had a weekend of uh, synthesizers here, we had some talks, and that sort of stuff going on, yeah? Yeah. Remember? Right, so during that talk, a guy called Martin Binfield, um, goes by the name of M Pegasus, did a talk. It was a really good talk. Um, it's on our Synthesize channel, so if anybody wants to watch it, they can. Um, so, yeah, he done this talk, and it, it was really interesting. It's all about chip tune, the history of it, where it's going. But there's one ah. bit in there that blew my mind, um, and it was about Mario and the theme tune of Mario. Um, right. So, yeah, I don't, I don't want to say too much more. So, play the game, and can you get to the underground? Well, level? I'll give it my best shot. Cool. Okay. okay. I am intrigued. Okay, so we're in world one and two. Mm -hmm. Right, so don't do anything when you get down here. Right. Listen to the music. Okay. Okay, very familiar. Yep, so everybody knows that music. Um, Something really interesting come up. Well, he started off talking about um, how this music um, has been used in uh, hip hop trap by Coco Rose. Um, but then he went on to uh, show about how actually this might not be quite as original as you thought. Really? This album. Recognise it? Friendship. No. You haven't got it in your funk music collection? No, no. definitely not. Okay. So, so this is from 1979. Um, funk band called Friendship. And. Uh, there they are. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool. Um, so yeah, and they've got this album called Friendship, self-titled. And on one of the tracks here, let's get the right one. That side, yep. Right, are you ready? I'm ready. Listen to this. Let's hold Mario here a second. Yep. Okay, so that's not yet. Okay, coming up. Ah! Pretty much identical, right? There so are. it doesn't do all that mad bit at the end of it, but that da -da 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 bit. Yeah. So there gets much more fun. So yeah, Koji Kondo was clearly inspired. Inspired, shall we say? Yes. By um. By friendship, you must have been listening to some uh, 79 funk. I mean, this is a good few years before. Um, so I can't really imagine him in his downtime kind of listening to this kind of stuff, but hey. Not really. But it's yeah. a decent bass line, let's have another. Let's have another listen to that. So, can you do it on yours? Yeah. So let's. So it doesn't do all that. Kind of jazzy bit, but the, yeah. So there you go. That is certainly... You can't listen to it now without hearing the... No. The funk, can you? So yeah, I mean, a guy called uh, Koji Kondo uh, wrote it. Um, and, uh, I mean, he's done some amazing stuff. He's done uh, Legends of Zelda. Um, he's done huge uh, sort of orchestral arrangements. Um, he's he's, played he's done orchestral well. shows, hasn't he? Yeah. With... Um, so he's an absolute, you know, amazing musician. Um, it doesn't really take anything away from the game for me, so it kind of adds something. Um, yeah. And this stuff is, sort of happens all over the shop anyway. So whether or not he's just kind of heard it in the background somewhere, and it's just kind of gone into his subconscious and thought, oh, that's a decent bass line. Um, but I mean, there's been stuff in, uh, you know, the press lately about um, the Led Zepp. Yes, yeah. the Led Zeppelin versus the estate of, it's the guitarist of spirit, mm. I think it was. So, uh, which didn't, didn't go anywhere, did it? No, it didn't go anywhere, they lost the case. But um, there were more than a few similarities between mm. those two. Mm. Uh, there were more than a few similarities here. Yeah, I would say so, yeah. definitely. So this isn't breaking news, right? This isn't something that we've only just this discovered. This is not an exclusive. No, obviously uh, Martin found it uh, online and uh, this was this was on RetroZap uh, website, um, but they actually um, linked back to Nintendo Life. And it's just on the forums, it's just a little thing that's there um, mentioning it um, and mentioning the name of that album. Um, but there's not a lot else online about it. So it's not well known no. or common news. No, I certainly had no idea. I didn't either. And I was That's, shocked. That is quite 
so. something actually. Mm. Is there any video footage of this lot anywhere? I don't know actually. When when you do a search for it, there is only um, uh, the the album. You can see you can play the track, but it just has the cover of the album mm. on it. Um, I haven't not that I've looked anyway. Yeah, the problem if they've got a concert snippet or something, mm. someone actually playing the funky beat. I have to have a look. What well, I did find there was another track somebody else mentioned about Earth, Wind, and Fire um, that they've got a track called um, uh, Serpentine Fire, and that is a little tiny bit like it. I mean, it's pretty much sort of a funk bass line. Yeah, there's a lot of it out there, but this one is so similar. The other one's not quite the same, but in watching it, um, they've got the, uh, the video of it. It's got an amazing computer in the background. Um, it's got the sort of tape drives in there and all these flashing lights. Um, we'll have to put a clip up of that. That's pretty cool. Um, but it's not quite close enough for my liking. But this one, very close. Oh, right. But anyway, there you go. So um, that's uh, Friendship from 1979. Uh, Mario theme tune, the underground theme, um, a little bit of a similarity there. Indeed. So, uh, so actually, I mean, interestingly, the track is called um, Let's Not Talk About It. Let's Not Talk About It. Which I think yes. Mario and, uh, and Nintendo would be quite happy with to do. I think, that, I think that's definitely the case, yes. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for your time. Um, yeah, this, uh, the, the whole talk uh, that uh, MPEGAS has done is on our uh, Synthesize YouTube channel. Um, just do a search for that. Um, and uh, otherwise, subscribe and uh, catch you next time. Indeed, without my terrible Mario skills. <laughs>